Whether post-surgery or everyday discomfort, people often use pain relief medications like ibuprofen, naproxen, and aspirin. While they may help alleviate the pain, they can also have a negative effect on the protective lining of the stomach. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, can cause peptic ulcer disease and make ulcer symptoms worse. Medications like ibuprofen, Motrin, Aleve, um, Naproxen, Voltaren, uh, those are the anti-inflammatory, aspirin products, those are the anti-inflammatory products. You can just take one pill that can cause an ulceration. As a matter of fact, studies have shown that if you did an endoscopy on every patient that take any anti-inflammatory, including just a baby aspirin, that you would find erosions and inflammation in the stomach. However, the majority are not symptomatic and they really don't cause any significant problems. Uh, however, some people develop uh, erosions and ulcerations and you can actually see perforations from anywhere within the gastrointestinal tract, not only in the stomach, the small intestine, as well as colon. So there are medications, we have very potent acid blockers that are available now uh, that can protect the gastrointestinal tract in someone who you think would need long-term treatment, or who's had a peptic ulcer disease in the past, or if it's an elderly patient or someone who's on any of the blood thinners like warfarin, or comedin, uh, the newer drugs now, Plavix, and there's so many new uh, antiplatelet drugs that are available. If someone has a history of um, peptic ulcer disease or in a certain age group, you know, certainly older than 60, then you might want to protect their gastric mucosa with the, the drugs available. You'll find contact information and maps for the two locations of advanced gastroenterology when you click the NSAIDs and Ulcers story link icon on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.